Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. I'm not sure weekly or not. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, but mostly, mostly this week I am working on the Tiger Commission. So I like to get that as as much of that done as possible. <clears throat> um, so basically, what I've done is I've just prepared everything to get the skin on. Um, and that includes putting the ears on, so ears are on, um, looking good, and I can start working on the, the body. Um, they look a bit odd at the moment just because there's no, like, fur or anything on top of the head, well, anywhere, actually. But it'll, it'll start all coming together nicely once, um... Once all the fur, fur goes on and it's it starts to take shape and um, I can sort of fill out the areas that need to, need to be filled out. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be working on the torso piece. Uh, that usually takes um, not that long, really. But the body, the overall body takes a little bit of time uh, just because there's a lot of hand sewing and like refining and everything to do uh, so I usually start with the torso piece and then um, sort of work my way from there so I'll do the legs and the neck um, separately and by doing that you can sort of refine it a bit better and achieve a better muscle tone so um, yeah I find that works but it's just lots of hand sewing and then the last bit I do is like the neck and the tail <clears throat> oh <laughs> Um, yeah, so the last piece I do is the neck and the tail, and, um, yeah, so I'll probably do that for most of the day, or most of this week, um, and, um, yeah, I put another poll up on my Patreon for the next art doll to make, or the next animal to pick from, um, I made, like, a little list, and so far the koala's winning, so... That's exciting. Um, so I haven't made a koala yet. I have faux fur that would work really well for the koala. So uh, I just have to go through my stash and um, see if I have enough. I think I do. Um, but yes, I'll have to just go through my stash first, see how much I have. And then um, maybe make it size accordingly to how much I have. But the fur, it's, it's really difficult to work with because it's, it's really soft and sort of plush. Um, and it's like a woven back rather than uh, like this regular sort of glued back. And the woven backs are really hard to work with because once you cut it, like the fur doesn't sort of clump together. It sort of just um, moves from that. That woven thing um, I have a video talking about it if you don't know what I'm talking about I have a video on um, that woven fur and just working with it uh, I never remember to link things so um, it's it, it'll be in my materials when I one playlist and um, yeah just go through like the types of faux fur fo and I think there is one particular one um, where it's like the worst faux fur fo fo that I've worked with not the worst, but the most difficult, I should say. Uh, and yeah, so that is pretty much what I've got going on at the moment. Um, and yeah, so I, I just really want to concentrate on this commission and get it done before the end of the year um, or in the next couple of weeks. So yeah, I free up some time. Um, and yeah, so I got some stock in of some air dry clay and these little sculpey tools, but I think I'll go into more detail about it maybe in a different video, but I got only one set. I got one set for myself because I haven't tried these and I got another set that I'll put in my shop because um, I always find um, that I'm using like a small blade to cut things and I think these will come in handy to cut um, things that I want to cut, uh, just like that, rather than, so, for instance, like, I make, um, the little decadent cake things, and I make, like, the whole cake, and then cut, um, cut them into cake sections, and I was doing it with a blade, but I think this would be much, much easier, um, 
to just cut one straight thing. So yeah, I've only got one of these and I also got some air dry clay for, um, for those that don't want to use polymer clays in an oven. Um, so I've got two size packets. I didn't get very much. Um, but yeah, I'll have to just take some photos and put it in my shop. But I think I'll let everyone know when I do that and I'll just talk, talk a little bit more about um, the clay and um, the tools as well. Uh, I might do it in a separate video, but yeah. And I've also got like a whole bunch of eyes as well that I need to put into my shop. Um, and like little glass eyes. And yes, so we're getting there. We're getting there, I think. Um, and yeah, I think that's about it. So I guess I will start, stop rambling and start working on this torso piece for the tiger. the end of the vlog um a little bit of a longish break i guess vlog over the over two weeks or something i think it was uh mainly because i was just sewing sewing and sewing and just like sewing <laughs> uh working on the tiger commission so it wasn't really that interesting um but i did manage to get it all sewn up uh it's over there drying and um so it shouldn't be too far off so i'm going to give it a good old trim um and then i'm going to apply the, all of the orange on it i need to fur the head and the feet first um but once that's done or all, all i really need to do is apply the orange color and the stripes on it and then it's done so it'll be able to be sent home um so i think maybe a week or two off i guess uh, hopefully I'll try and get a big chunk of it done this week and, um, yeah, try and finish it, but I don't know if I'm going to finish it. Um, I also got one more commission as well, so while that was drying I started sculpting, um, some parts for it, so I just started on the head so far. Uh, it is a little rat commission, um, so it's somebody's pet that they don't have with them anymore. Um... So I've sculpted the head and I still need to sculpt the little feet and then I can start putting it all together. Um, and yeah, so little rat. I've made rats before um, and I've got a rat mold but I um, am sculpting because it's a sable. Siamese sable rat, I think it is. Um, so they look a little bit different from like a stock standard rat. Uh, but yeah, so that's the head done. It's all nice and hard. So the white bit is um, Sculpey original. And the little ears and nose are Super Sculpey. Um, which I'll probably add a little bit more of a pink tone to once I put it all together. Uh, and see how it turns out. So I just need to sculpt the hands now. Which are... A little difficult to sculpt because they're tiny um, 
and I'm using the smallest armature for this one as well. So, uh, this one. So that's my smallest one that I have. I don't have very much stock of this left. So, um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Uh, also, just wanted to show um, a couple of little bits and pieces that I put in my shop in terms of supplies. Um, I only have one of these so far in my shop, uh, but I found them really handy. I got one for myself, um, and I just got another one to put in my shop. So, they're pretty handy. Um, it's a Sculpey tool, um, and I've only got one, but uh, they're like a little uh, a blade tool. So, there's three of them, and you can sort of do different types of things. So, you can do like a straight cut one of them's bendy and one of them's like this little corrugated type pattern um so the ones that i have open so this is one of them you can see it is bendy and it's like a little blade so i was using like a um like a little blade from a knife like a pen, pen knife type thing but i wanted something a bit bigger so i got these um i got these ones to try for myself and I quite like them. They're, they're a little bit sharp on one end. or well, they are sharp on one end, so... Because um, it's a blade. But this this is like the bendy one. Um, there's like a longer one, which is not so bendy. Um, a bit more rigid. And it's good for like... I've used it a couple of times. It's good for like cutting things. Uh, bigger things. So this one was quite handy. I haven't used the other ones yet. Um, but there's that one, um, and the last one is the corrugated one, which I haven't used either, but it gives you like that corrugated type effect, uh, a little bit bendy, not too bendy, but I'm not really sure what I'll use this one for, but I mean, if you're making patterns like jewelry or something, maybe, I uh, don't think I'll have much of a use for this, but you know, maybe. Who knows, but it comes in the pack anyway, but I've only got one of these um, So it's in my shop and I've also got some air dry clay But I'm currently waiting for Sculpey to come in because there's like a shortage everywhere. So There's um Yeah, like a backlog of Sculpey orders, so it's supposed to be this month um, and mainly I'm getting uh, Original Sculpey, which is the white one and I'm also getting Super Sculpey, um, just a little bit of that as well. Um, so I'll put that in my shop once they come in. But I, I got some air dry clay options um, for people that want to use air dry clay. So they come in three different sizes. It's just like a little um, air dry pack that it's just like a, I don't know, a modeling clay and it's pretty friendly. Um, so it takes about one to two days to fully dry. It will shrink, so just keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a good option for those that don't want to use an oven to bake. Um, Super Sculpey, so it comes in this size, which is, this is the smallest one, um, 250 grams. Uh, so there's that one. I've got five of them i've got four 500 grams so it's double the size um and yeah they're nice and soft and then i've got two kilo two one kilo ones so or a thousand grams or one kilo um so that's the biggest size and i've got two of those uh so just a small just a really small little shop update uh, i do have supplies i do have plenty of bigger armature. I've got a small supply of this one, but I don't have any more of these pliers. They sold out. Um, so I will plan on getting them in the future, but um, I'm, I don't have any at the moment. I'll have to wait until I can do a bigger order to order supplies because you need to spend a minimum amount of money. Um, and I just don't have the space to spend. Um, to get like a whole bunch of supplies that I already have. Um, so once the bigger sizes are kind of selling out or getting low, then I'll probably do another order. 
Um, but yeah, they've got plenty of one quarter and three eighths. Three eighths, I think, is the bigger size. Um, and yeah, so yeah, I plan on putting more supplies in my shop. Um, and yeah, so check that out if you're looking for things. I'd like to have things that you can, you know you can go to one place to make to get everything to make. Um, so yeah. But that's a little update. Um, rambled on enough. Uh, I did do a poll on my Patreon. I think I mentioned that before. But I did do a poll and it looks like a koala is winning. Um, so I guess that'll be the next one. The next uh, doll that I'm making. And um, I think this will be my last commission for a little while. Uh, or at least this year. Um, but if you want stuff for Christmas, um, check out my shop because I have a few more dolls, and I do try, um, do planning on, um, I am planning to try and put some more um, dolls in my shop. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Time-wise, I don't know how well that's going to be. But I think yeah, these two commissions are going to be my last commissions for a little while. Um, so I'm trying to get them done, and. Yeah, so that's the little update. I guess that'll do. Uh, thanks to my patrons for supporting me. I really appreciate it. I need to put this month's printable up, which I haven't done yet. Um, and yes, I need to work on a few more videos as well. So check that out if you want um, like a discount and stuff in my shop. Uh, and early access to anything that I make. Um, what else? That's about it, really. I think. You can check me out on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, at Creatures of Nat. Uh, and my shop, creaturesofnat.com. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.